I just put up a, a video about dentistry in the UK, and I noticed on the Daily Telegraph there's a there's a report that says NHS dentistry crisis exacerbated by immigration. Sunak told. Tory MPs and Reform UK say the number of new arrivals in Britain is driving an unquenchable demand for health services. Well, when you actually read the article, uh, which I've done, it points out that uh, their there, uh, record net migration is fueling the NHS dentistry, ki- dentistry crisis. Rishi Sunak has been warned amid a third day of chaos outside of Bristol surgery. Um, And the people who have been warning him are Tory MPs and Richard Tice, specifically Victoria Atkins, the health secretary, who separately told MPs that 7 million patients in England didn't come forward for dental care during COVID. And Richard Tice is the person who is responsible for talking about the threats of mass migration to dentistry. Uh, James Sunderland is another backbencher who has said that um, it stands to reason that any significant growth in population increases the strain on our public services. The UK has been writing checks that we cannot cash for too long. Net migration must fall and this is the government's plan. But in fact, Rishi Sunak hasn't blamed uh, the problems with dentistry on migration. Other people have. Um... And the Daily Telegraph is massaging that information to give that impression. But it's not just the Daily Telegraph. This is a headline which runs across the nation today. And it's not entirely honest, is it? Not entirely honest. Um, I'm sure by tomorrow Rishi Sunak will be uh, joining the throng that blames the problems of dentistry on migration. But at the moment, there isn't any clear evidence that he's doing so. Um, even if other members of the Conservative Party are, and certainly reform is, and I'm sure Mr. Farage is, but I don't, I don't have evidence that Mr. Farage is, incidentally, um, but uh, I'm just speculating there.